and the movies were 15 cents, you got a glass of beer and a hot dog and a movie and a newsreel and a comedy for 15 cents. And it was very few people in there. And then the last thing I remember in New York was a RKO had an amateur night. And so I, I did Italian dialects, country dialects, German dialects. I played like seven different people with their dialects. And I won the RKO amateur night at the George C. Tillieu Theater. And the, I was supposed to get 25 bucks or something like that. And the guy burst my hair over my head. You know, I love it. He burst my hair. Good kid, he said. And he said, do you want a job or do you want the prize money? I said, I'd rather have a job. So he put me on the circuit and I got no money for it. And I got, he never paid me anything. He said, you look like a good kid. You're a good kid. Here's a buck. I won the RKO amateur night. But in those days, if I knew what a lawyer did, you know, the RKO could have been, been broke doing that, featuring that. That's the first time I was shafted. Well, I just used to imitate the people in my neighborhood. The Greeks owned the movie theaters. And a Greek named Fody, who was a guy that was a guy at the box as a ticket was, he said, if you learn a Greek song, you can go into the movie. So he taught me a Greek song called Samyotisa. And I learned to sing it. And I can go in the movie any time I sang that song. And the movies were always about cowboys and Indians. And a guy named Buffalo Bill, I don't know if you remember that. And there was another guy, his assistant, his stooge, was called Atta Cord, because they always got Atta Cord. They tied him up and he always got out. It was called Atta Cord. But anyway, all the movies were awful, except the Charlie Chaplin pictures, which were always on the shorts and the newsreel. And there was a newsreel called The March of Time. It was, do you remember that? Well, The March of Time sent a committee to Russia to see what communists were doing. And they said in the March of Time in the movie that we think that the free enterprise system will do better than socialism, but we wish you the best of luck on your social experiment. They shook hands. And the movie upheld Russia. It, 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 it didn't attack. It just said, we wish you the best of luck on your no unusual social experiment which was very objective at the time. And then every theater had a newsreel. And all the newsreel was about world affairs, floods in Japan, or whatever it was. And, uh, and then there was a comedy, Harold Lloyd. I don't know if you remember Harold Lloyd. Do you? So, so, Charlie Chaplin, all the movies of Charlie Chaplin with a big guy with a big eyebrows, bushy eyebrows. Charlie Chaplin was walking down the street with this big guy, and this big guy got mad at Charlie Chaplin, and he bent the lamppost down. He was a big, then he picked up Charlie Chaplin, threw him around, threw him away. He was a, you know the guy that always worked with Charlie Chaplin? Anyway, Charlie Chaplin was social. He sent his kid to Russia to school there, and people used to boycott him. Charlie Chaplin was very social, but he didn't know what to do.